Hey, thanks for clicking on the link. This is Corey Lin again with OutstandingGuitar.com and in this video lesson, I'd like to show you how to play a very nice sounding 1950s guitar chord progression. I think you'll enjoy it. Let me go ahead and just play through it a couple of times so you can see what it's gonna sound like here. Here it is. Okay, so what we're going to do here is overall fairly simple. If you know some of your basic chords on guitar and you know a little bit about strum patterns and whatnot, this shouldn't be too difficult. Now, if you're a complete beginner, obviously this might take a little bit more practice than the person who's played for about six months or a year or whatever. But there's going to be four chords involved in this. Let me show you. You should also be able to see on our tabs the chord diagrams for these in case you don't know them. The G chord is first. It includes all six strings. The E minor chord is second. All six strings are included in the E minor chord. The C major is third. From the fifth string down, we don't want to play the sixth string in it. Okay. The D major is the fourth and final chord from the fifth string down. Okay. So those are the four chords. Now, the simple part of this is there's one simple strum pattern that's going to go with each chord. So let's go back to the G for a second. If you watch my strum hand here, watch this. Okay, all I'm doing there is just going down, down, up, down. Again, that's a simple down, down, up, down. Then what I'm going to do next after I do that one time, you can do it several times with each chord if you want just to get into the feel of the strum pattern, but typically when, if I want to play the progression the way they did in the 1950s, I do the strum pattern once on the G, then I move to the E minor, the next chord, and I play the same strum pattern. Again, it's down, down, up, down. Then I move into the C chord next, fifth string down. Remember, we don't want to include the sixth string. Same strum pattern, down, down, up, down. Then to the D chord, fifth string down, 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 up, down. Let me go through this slowly again. I'm going to go back to the first chord of the progression, G, down, down, up, down, E minor, C, D. Now if you notice there's a certain rhythmic feel to how I'm playing this. I'm not just playing a straight up, down, down, up, down. I'm going down, down, up, down. In fact, this progression, this 1950s chord progression is what is known as 6-8 timing. If I were counting it out, I'd do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 